Good afternoon. Our special guest at Little Enterprise cl Cluster of BC Green is Elena Sherbak. Elena is a Senior Client Service Manager at an educational agency, Business Link, in Kyiv. Business Link specializes at organizing individual education trips to the United Kingdom for children and adults and also assists with applying to UK boarding schools and universities. Elena loves UK and believes that the best way to get children interested in learning English is through engaging in fun activities while experiencing full immersion in British culture. Presentation briefly describes options of short summer courses for children in the UK, depending on specific goals and age, and explains why UK is the best place to study English. Um, hello, everyone. Um, I'm Elena. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank uh, BFC for giving me this opportunity to talk to you. Uh, as I understand, some of you uh, have children and um, you might be interested um, in educating them, uh, especially in summer when uh, they have nothing to do. So the best thing I think they can do is uh, study. Um, so, uh, a few words about um, our company. Uh, as Colin, uh, Colin said, we uh, specialize on helping children and adults to study in the UK. Uh, we uh, deal with uh, higher education, secondary education, and uh, uh, today we're going to talk about uh, short courses uh, for children. I hope this information will be useful for you. Um, so. Uh, I don't think it is necessary to uh, tell you how education is important and that it is the most, uh, the best thing you can uh, invest uh, in. Um, the most difficult task for uh, parents is to uh, get their children interested in education. Um, and uh, here we will talk about English and uh, other subjects. So the best way to get them interested is to show them that it is uh, fun. And UK is the best place uh, which uh, this can be done. So here is the brief agenda. Uh, first, I will tell you why we uh, work with UK only and think that this is the best place to study English. Uh, I will uh, tell you about some options which you can choose uh, from uh, and uh, lastly I will tell you how you can uh, book uh, the summer course and how you can um, how we can help you with this if you will get interested in this uh, so UK why um, why we work with UK first of all uh, of course it's the birthplace of English um, here you can study the purest uh, English, the most, the rightest English uh, you can hear anywhere. There is, uh, um, uh, UK has a worldwide reputation for education. Uh, for example, when you think of Switzerland, first thing that springs to mind is probably chocolate. Like uh, France, it's probably Eiffel Tower. And when you think of Britain, it's probably you think about their excellent education. Uh, well, probably you, the first thing is Queen, and then but then you think about education. Um, uh, Oxford, Cambridge uh, are the best universities, and they are situated in UK. And when you hear that British scientists um, discovered this and that, this all happens in UK and its universities. Um, uh, second, uh, well, the next thing that uh, is very important for the parents is uh, good travel links to Europe, um, because uh, not only UK provides summer courses, uh, they ha also have courses in the US or Canada or New Zealand, but uh, it's um, not a secret that UK is the closest to Europe and you can reach it uh, very uh, easily. Uh, and this is a very safe place, unlike uh, other countries. Uh, next thing, uh, well, it's not the UK only, um, but uh, here ch uh, children will get the full uh, and the best immersion in British culture. They uh, simply will have no choice but to speak English. Um, and uh, how can you learn English better when 
talking English from uh, the moment you wake up until you uh, go to sleep. Uh, it is a great opportunity to meet um, peers from around the world to make uh, new friends uh, from different countries um, and with British people too, apparently. Uh, so, um, here are some pictures of uh, UK sites. It's just for you to see that uh, UK is not only London. Uh, UK has a lot to offer and um, summer schools are located uh, through all the UK. Uh, here you can see the Cambridge University. It is also possible to study at Cambridge University at, in summer. Uh, uh, next, uh, UK has C. Uh, it's possible to study at the um, sea coast. Uh, it's Scotland, magnificent historical buildings, uh, hills, uh, mountains, and uh, na beautiful nature. And of course, London. But probably London is not the best uh, place for small uh, children, uh, but maybe for a little older ones. Uh, also, I would like to mention that um, we don't. Uh, we're not talking about group trips uh, because. Um, uh, we also think uh, here that um, the best way to learn English is uh, by going to UK by yourself. So um, uh, it's uh, an individual trip uh, because uh, when a child comes to UK in a group, um, uh, he still speaks his language, uh, he interacts with the people he came with, and he doesn't really want to integrate and uh, to uh, meet other people. Uh, he uh, is forced to speak English, uh, and this is the best way to learn when you have no way but talk uh, but talk to somebody to um, to meet your needs. So. Um, of, um, here is uh, here are uh, types of courses that you can choose from. Um, let's call them leisure courses, um, preparation for high school, and um, individual go goals. Uh, first, uh, you uh, need to understand your goal when you're choosing a summer course for your child. Um, what um, What is your final goal? Is, the, um, is your goal for your child to enter um, the university in an English-speaking country or to uh, just to have fun or to uh, take maybe to take an English test to prepare for a test. Uh, so uh, la leisure courses are meant for children who uh, never experienced summer courses before or um, maybe they uh, want uh, 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 they can start uh, wanting to learn English by having more fun than actually uh, working hard. But still, leisure courses uh, are good for the children who want to find a new hobby or to um, get a, a more uh, full, more uh, insight in uh, the field of their interest, such as business, art and design, or something else. Uh, so, uh, leisure courses uh, are for children uh, from 6 until 17. Six uh, years of age is uh, the youngest when a child can come uh, to UK by himself without uh, his parents. And um, uh, there are also options of family courses uh, when uh, uh, parents uh, maybe are concerned that their child uh, is not ready for um, independent trip, uh, then uh, they can go with the child, uh, live with him, and study along with the child. Um, so uh, this uh, type of courses in, uh, are usually called English Plus. So uh, they study English um, in the morning. Uh, then, after the lunch, they do different activities. And depending on what your child would like to do, uh, he can do horse riding, he can do art and design, or uh, photography, or even business. Um, if uh, it's a starter, then the best thing is to choose just uh, English uh, plus uh, activities. Uh, in <clears throat> these bo both options, family courses and English plus, uh, children uh, live at a boarding school. Uh, 
Uh, of course, uh, there is an option of for a child to live in a host family, uh, but we find that a boarding school is much more uh, appealing to a child. Of, it's more fun and interesting. So, um, what is a boarding school? Boarding school uh, is a school uh, where um, British children study uh, from September to June. And during the summer, these schools lend their premises to uh, summer schools um, so they can uh, welcome children from all over the world and experience the environment where British children study. So they uh, live in their uh, rooms, they eat uh, at their canteen, they study in their classrooms. So basically this is a fenced uh, uh, territory uh, where everything is on site. All the fields that you can see around the school, this belongs to the school and the child can do anything he wants. The te play tennis, uh, ride horses and whatever. So this is uh, this is like what campus of a school looks like. Um, so this is the main building where uh, where the classes are. Then there are the pool, the fields, uh, boarding houses. Um, usually girls and boys live uh, separately. There are several boarding houses. There is uh, a person who supervises them who lives in uh, every uh, house. Um, of course, there are uh, excursions and trips which children can visit uh, once or twice a week. But uh, basically, all they do uh, they are they are doing here at, on the territory of a boarding school, fully supervised. Uh, how does um, this? Uh, what does this course include, and uh, uh, what does it look like? Um, so it's full board. It's uh, breakfast, lunch, uh, supper. Uh, usually it's uh, 15 hours of English per week. Uh, it's the minimum hours you can have. It's three hours per day. Um, then they have lunch and then they um, interact uh, while joining uh, into different activities. After supper they do their homework uh, and they have some more activities uh, before they go to sleep. Um, usually there are around two or three excursions to different sites uh, three uh, times a week. Excursions can be to London or to Brighton to the seaside or to uh, various castles. Um, the price, you can see the standard price here. The minimum um, period which is um, good for a child so he can benefit from this course, it's two weeks. Um, usually, uh, parents choose uh, two weeks or four weeks. Um, here you can see the example of nationality mix. Uh, it's very important uh, for the school to understand that um, one nationality does not prevail, that um, they keep their nationalities around 10 or 15 percent. So, And when um, they uh, decide who will um, live with whom in a room, they make sure that a Russian-speaking boy doesn't live with a Russian speak another Russian-speaking boy. Uh, they mix the children, so they communicate in English all day long and don't have a chance to interact in their own language. This is uh, very important. Uh, how does uh, the teaching go in uh, on at such a course? Um, it's uh, it's not just boring grammar like we're used to. Um, teaching in uh, British schools are really interactive. Um, it's not only inside the classroom, but it's outside of class classroom. Uh, so first, of course, they um, they learn some inside the classroom, um, but then they also um, engage in different projects. Like, for example, if it's uh, English uh, plus business, there is a course called Young Entrepreneurs. Uh, the children get a chance to develop uh, their own business plan. Um, they work in a group. Different uh, children represent different uh, positions like uh, marketing or um, 
analyst or financial uh, advisor, something like this. So they develop a plan and present their project. Um, uh, next, uh, they enrich their vocabulary through trips, uh, excursions which they attend. These are not just excursions. They receive certain tasks before they go somewhere, like a questionnaire or something like this. And then uh, after they return from the trip, they must discuss it in the classroom um, so they understand uh, what they have saw. So. Um, what, what about outcome? Um, at the end of the course, each child receives a certificate, which can be very useful when we when you return to your your own school. Um, uh, you receive a report, a portfolio of the work that the child has done, and trust me, they um, they do a lot of things uh, inside the classroom, and it's um, really useful thing to know where your where your child is at at what level he is um and uh, sometimes they give recommendations of what child can improve uh, what are his strengths and weaknesses um that's how it is um family courses are um, uh, are also they also have all these components but a parent he stays at the same boarding school and studies in the classroom with uh, grown-ups and the child studies in the classroom with uh, another children and after they uh, return from their activities they join and uh, spend time together um, next uh, option of uh, summer course is preparation for high school um, it's not only for high school but um, these are this is for children who uh, would like to deepen their knowledge in a certain subject if they already chose uh, their career path maybe or uh, which university which course they would like to study at university this is a very good um, opportunity for them to enhance their motivation letter if you need to write one in your own country um, to deepen your knowledge in a certain subject in English um, so the first uh, option you can do is English plus school subjects uh, location is the same it's the boarding school um, you study English and uh, you choose the subjects you um, want to study. It can be, usually it's around five, uh, six uh, subjects, um, but the level, uh, the entry level of English for this course um, must be higher than for uh, usually, uh, than for a usual le leisure course. Uh, <clears throat> like I said, this can be useful for anyone, regardless uh, whether you want to go to study to the UK uh, or uh, to return back to your school. We have uh, quite a lot of children in Ukraine who uh, attend these courses for four to eight weeks uh, in summer and then return to uh, their schools, uh, which uh, is really a great uh, thing uh, when you return uh, back. It uh, gives you a, a great boost to your language and to uh, your no knowledge. This is just another picture, so you understand uh, how the boarding school looks like. Uh, <clears throat> so how does uh, this uh, program uh, run? Um, the uh, academic um, uh, hours here, are it's 30 academic hours, and so it's hard work, and this is not fun at all. This is for children who are determined to study and want to get uh, a result. Um, uh, the very important thing here is uh, subjects, English and drama. Uh, a lot of uh, schools think that drama uh, can, you can uh, benefit greatly from drama because it uh, develops uh, your speaking skills, your acting, acting skills, how you present yourself, how you, um, it's a very good thing to have uh, in a school. Um, of course, children play sport and, and attend excursions, like um, if uh, they would like to study business, uh, the, the, there are tailored excursions to 
the bank or to some enterprise or if the child wants to do art in the university they visit galleries and uh, uh, these are not just random excursions just to see the sites uh, also children can visit universities uh, even such universities like Oxford and Cambridge to get motivated um, and sometimes when children didn't know what they would like to do they change their mind completely after such uh, trips um, uh, here, um, subjects are taught by um, teachers who work in uh, a certain school during the school year. They learn technical vocabulary, they do laboratory work when it, uh, it means uh, on a subject such as chemistry or physics. Um, they develop their research skills that are very important um, for university uh, where you have to spend a lot of time self-studying and managing your uh, own time um, and uh, a lot of uh, attention is given to soft skills uh, such as teamwork integration they are shown here at the picture as you know they, these skills are very important for your future employment and for a career like critical thinking uh, ability to analyze this all is integrated here um, <clears throat> At the end of this course, uh, parents also receive academic report, but it's much more, uh, it's deeper, and every teacher of every subject expresses his opinion on uh, the work that the child has done and uh, writes his comments and gives an overall characteristic of the student. Um, the next uh, option, which we can uh, uh, choose from uh, is the most effective one. Um, I called it individual goals. Um, what this means, it's um, basically it's one-to-one -one tuition. Uh, of course, we know that this is uh, the most effective uh, way to learn English. Uh, uh, it's sure is uh, the most expensive one. But when your goal is not just to have fun, but to receive a result in a very short time, this option is uh, the best. Uh, our most popular course is home tuition. It's when your child uh, lives at a home of a certified teacher. Um, he uh, studies uh, for a certain period of hours and then uh, spends time with the teacher's family but it's not just uh, fun, it's uh, also teacher um, can understand uh, where uh, the, ch uh, the child's progress and uh, um, pays attention to him from day, uh, from day to day. Um, this course is mostly chosen by the children who need to pass IELTS test. Uh, is, is, this is the test uh, to uh, for entry to universities uh, or to prepare for their external English exams at their uh, school. Uh, here how it goes. Um, 15, 25 hours of English per week, but it all can be customized because it's individual and whatever you need, uh, English for business, English uh, for IELTS, like I said, or English for other purposes, uh, you can do anything here. Um, and you participate in the daily life of a British family. Um, they also give you an individual report and a weekly progress report. So these are only a few um, options that I uh, told you about. There are much more. I just wanted to give you a glimpse of uh, options you can choose from. Um, here is um, action plan, as I called it. If you decide that you want your child to uh, go to UK this summer, uh, how we work usually is uh, we need a uh, child's age. Um, the, your preferred dates, uh, or your preferred budget, and your goal, what your goal is, uh, then uh, we, uh, um, we can send you several options that suit your request. You can choose from these options, and then um, the course gets booked, the trip gets organized, the uh, uh, plane tickets, the visa, and everything gets uh, done. This is how it is. Um, 
So, of course, like I said, personal approach and understanding your goals is the best way to um, reach uh, great results. And uh, thank you for your attention. If you have any questions, please, you're welcome. Uh, thank you, Elena, very much for, I mean, it, I think it was more than a glimpse of information. It was really uh, interesting and, uh, I mean, I, I actually, and some of the colleagues, we had a chance to participate at a similar presentation, I think, a couple of years ago, right? And uh, it's very, um, uh, for those who care about their children and that have time, um, to, for that, I think I agree. There is no better place than UK for education, and um, I'm sure that uh, if um, some of us, or maybe we could also share this with colleagues um, and see, um, so our kids or kids of our families could benefit uh, from from these opportunities. And more details, uh, yeah, we will definitely contact you. And, to find about the rates uh, and, and so on, like eligibility and other options. Um, I'm just uh, one question. I have one question. Like now with the, this Brexit, right, uh, that UK has uh, gone is going through. Uh, do you think it will affect the programs and um, in terms of uh, visas, in terms of um, applications, will it become more difficult? <clears throat> well, um, actually, we have. Uh... It's, it has never been easy for uh, countries like Ukraine. Uh, I, I'm not sure uh, how it is like in um, other countries like Moldova, for example, but um, in Ukraine it has been al always hard and we uh, noticed um, uh, that visa regulations became more strict uh, this uh, uh, year after the Brexit. The, um, demands for the documents that we are submit, uh, submitting are uh, became higher but still it's uh, let it not be a drawback for you because um, that's what our agency does we make sure that you um, submit the, the right documents and if you do uh, then uh, uh, you will be granted your visa nothing really has changed uh, um, drastically <laughs> Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks God. <laughs> okay, yeah. it's good, good to hear. Yeah, because um, it's. I think uh, the one who will lose from this is UK, right? Because uh, ch children that uh, brought there are probably the among the best. So, all right, thank you very much, uh, colleagues. Any anyone would like to address a question? All right. Okay. So in this case, then, uh, a bit earlier, we have like a couple more minutes. I would like to thank uh, again Elena for such a great presentation. Um, I'm sure that we will have also access to the, uh, the power slides, right, to PowerPoint slides uh, that could be shared uh, on our uh, BC Green uh, um, site uh, for, for those who uh, were not able um, for some reasons to participate today and uh, we'll find out more about this. So um, we're looking forward to, to your new uh, presentations and uh, with other topics and uh, in our li little enterprise class, cluster and as well your participation in other clusters that we have. And on the, about this I would like to mention that tomorrow on March 23rd uh, we have Matthew Marwick uh, that will host a um, session called The Magic of Cinema. Um, so we will have a chance to look behind the scenes, exploring story structures, plot devices, and how movies makers engage audiences. So for those who are film enthusiasts, who like uh, and adore movies, I think it's a great opportunity to participate tomorrow. So we're looking forward to... Um, um, to your presence and presence of other colleagues and uh, I would like to wish you um, a nice and productive day and till tomorrow. Bye-bye.